How's your life going? How's the weather? How's the family? What's good in your real estate business? We're gonna have a talk today. My name is Cody Sperber. I have a little training prepared for you just because I'm going through something in my personal real estate business that I think you guys can relate to. And uh, I wanted to just kind of show you kind of how I'm approaching it from a business entrepreneur level. So I'm about to share with you my approach to hiring in-house team members. Now for me, I understood from a very early period in my real estate business that there's, I have to figure out how to leverage other people's skills, resources, talents, money, credibility, all of that in order to get my business up off the ground and, and, and producing the results that I'm looking for consistently. So this is why I'm like, we have to get, master the skill, document it, systematize it, and then delegate and outsource or automate it. So. When I'm talking about hiring in-house team members, okay, the reason I want them in-house is because one, I have a physical office building. You might not. That doesn't mean you can't meet your employee or your, in, your independent contractor in-house team member at a Starbucks every single day or allow them to work from their home office and you work from your home office. With technology like Zoom or Skype, you can run a successful business and have a whole team of independent contractors that they're not in the Philippines, they're not overseas, they are, you know, team members. They work solely for you or directly with you and you can leverage their skills to build your business. All right, so there's really a couple things that you need to understand. You need to know the rules. What is the difference between an employee and an independent contractor? Now, before I get too far into the weeds on this, I need you to understand something. Nobody is going to show up at your real estate business, at your home office or at the Starbucks when you're having your little team meeting or even here because I run my office, a bunch of my businesses from this Clever Investor building. Nobody's gonna show up here and go, now Cody, I need to see out of the two team members you have whether or not you have them classified correctly, right? There's no like classification police. It doesn't work like that. Um, so first off, know the classification, right? Are you hiring an employee or an independent contractor? And the way we, pretty much the way we know of the difference is if you're providing them computers, softwares, leads, phone systems, documents, spreadsheets, you're holding them accountable to hours that they have to work, if you're basically telling them what to do, what to wear, when to be, how to do it, then they're an employee, all right? You can classify them as an independent contractor and save some money because when they're an employee, there's a lot that goes into that, right? There's a lot, I'm about to show you what that a lot is. When they're an independent contractor, it's like little itty bitty responsibility for you, the business owner. Employee, lots of responsibility, costs more. Right? You got to pay into social security and you know, state taxes. You got to do withholdings. You got to do payroll. You got to do all this extra stuff. All right. So first and foremost, employees, all right, things you need to know about hiring employees. And I'm only going to spend a second on this because I want to get to the independent contractors and the system. Number one, in order to have an employee, you have to have a business. That means normally you have an, what's called an EIN number or your employee identification number. All right. You're gonna to need to register them with your state's labor department. You're gonna to wanna to get workers' compensation insurance, right? You're gonna to wanna to set up a payroll system to withhold taxes, all right? Each employee will need to fill out some paperwork, right? A W-4 form, withholding allowance. They're gonna to need to fill out a w, uh, form I-9 employment eligibility verification form to make sure that they're eligible to be working, oops, working here in the US. You're gonna to have to report them to the new hire reporting agency. You're gonna to have to post little note, for you down, they, they either mail them to you or you can download them online, but you gotta post these little things. Uh, normally they're done by the, the break room where it talks about, you know, 
workers' rights and employees' rights and that kind of thing. At the end of the year, you have to file an IRS Form 940. You're gonna to wanna to adopt workplace safety measures because you don't want them to get hurt. You're gonna to wanna to create an employee handbook. You're gonna to wanna to set up and maintain personnel files. And guess what? They have to be in a locked fireproof safe or filing cabinet. And eventually you're gonna to wanna to set up some benefits if you wanna keep the best employees around. That's too much work. Let's go to what I would do. Independent contractor, all right? I get in my head, I wanna hire an acquisition expert or specialist, whatever you wanna call them, to help me acquire deals for motivated sellers. There's, the only thing I care that this person knows how to do is they have to be personable. If they have sales skills, then they're in the game. They don't need to know anything about real estate. Any, you know, They don't even have to be that great at technology, although that's a plus. I really wanna know, that, can they talk to people and are they personable? All right, and if they have good sales skills, then that's great. Other than that, I get in my head, I said, this is the person I wanna hire on my team. I want them in-house because I don't wanna outsource to somebody in the Philippines to answer my calls. Okay, so now it's game time. Step one, place ad on classified site. So, acquisition specialist hiring ad. Six, and this is the headline dollar signs everywhere, right? Because what do sales guys want? They want to make freaking a lot of money. They want, to, they want to believe, because they're in sales, that the sky's the limit, all right? So don't create a little baby ad, little wimpy ad, where you say, hey, you can make $18 an hour, right? Or make up to $3,000 a month. No, no. A salesperson believes that they can make $50,000 a month in their head, right? So don't limit them. Six-figure sales position with unlimited earning potential. Sell the dream. Ready to produce some results and earn six figures? Highly successful real estate investor seeking protege. You could change that if you want to come from a different angle. Super sharp outside sales executive will have the ability to produce results. We have been, uh, we've been full-time successful real estate investors in Arizona since you know 2004. We have an A-plus rating by the BBB and have consistently closed over X deals per month. If you're brand new, modify this. We've been doing this for a while now and have had you know, a lot of success and we're scaling and growing our team to absolutely dominate all our competition and make everybody a ton of money. This is not a late night infomercial trying to sell you education, nor is it a real estate investor's wanted bandit sign, nor is it a reality TV show. This is a legit opportunity to make real money in this real industry. You're gonna be working both inbound and outbound leads for a real estate investment firm as an acquisition specialist. Make money, learn new skills, have fun with the badass team. Uh, if, you know, if you love to crush your goals and get paid, this is the job for you. It's simple. What are you gonna do? You're gonna talk to motivated sellers. You're gonna get them to sell their house. We only wanna work with real closers. How does it work? Roles and responsibilities. Work both inbound and outbound leads. People that wanna sell for all cash. Manage leads in our CRM. Comp, inspect, analyze potential real estate investment opportunities, both in person and over the phone. We're gonna teach you this skill. Build rapport. Manage leads, follow up, motivated, uh, must be motivated to bring in outside business, must be a team player and get along with the other staff. Okay, so far so good. Who are we looking for? Sharp, professional dresser, works hard, has tenacity, must be coachable, uh, improves themselves currently by reading books, watching videos, reading blogs, doing whatever it takes to self-educate. They have to be a fast starter, highly motivated, looking for the right opportunity, not a baby, not a whiner, not an excuse maker, put away your little blame thrower and let's get to work, all right? Qualifications for the position. You don't have to know anything about real estate. This is great. But if you know anything about sales, we wanna to talk to you, right? We want somebody that's comfortable and awesome on the phone. You're gonna be taught some pretty high level negotiation stuff. Uh, so we're not really interested if you don't know how to talk on the phone. No real estate knowledge needed, but if you have it, cool. Uh, you know, somebody that is focused on producing results, making lots of money. We, we imagine it's gonna be filled by one of two types of people, a sales beast who has tons of experience closing over the phone in any other industry or an entrepreneur with a sports background, right? Very important. Sports background who's naturally a people person who loves to work within a team environment. Why do we want somebody that has a sports background? Well. We know they're coachable. 
We know they know what it likes, they know what it feels like to win and lose, and they hate losing, and they're willing to learn from those moments and then get out there and level up and kick butt. They know what it's like to work in a team. What do you do next? And now pay attention, this is very important. Because there are so many applicants, we do a three-step process. Step one, now that you read this ad, complete the short interview survey by clicking the link below. And when they click this link, they're gonna go to this survey. But my survey looks like this. Now hiring, in-house real estate investing team member, work with Cody and his team. Are you interested in becoming a successful real estate investor? Do you think you have what it takes to work with Cody and his team? We're looking for a new team member in our Tempe, Arizona office to help us wholesale houses around the US. This is not an MLM or something where you have to pay. We're actually looking for an in-house team member with, to help with acquisition and disposition for our wholesale deals. If you're interested, fill this out. Question one, what's your contact info? Question two, how did you hear about this opportunity? So we know what marketing is effective. Question three, what experience do you have in sales? Because that's really all we care about. Question four, how tech savvy are you? Are you good? Are you average? Are you Homer Simpson? All right, what's your number one talent or expertise? Notice how I'm not ans asking anything about their interest in real estate or real estate investing. I don't care about that. In fact, I don't even want somebody really that wants to be me. I want somebody that just wants to make a ton of money working with me. Why are you interested in a new position? How mentally tough are you? One being you're not tough and 10 being you're a freaking Navy SEAL. What's your total income for last year? I wanna see if they're gonna be honest. People are scared to talk about money. I wanna see if they're down to talk about money. You know, hey, I made $30,000 last year and it freaking sucks and I hate my life and I'm ready to dominate, all right? Or, hey, I made $180,000 last year. I gotta dig into that and find out if that was a salaried position I already know that this isn't gonna be for them because they have to kill what they eat. Eat what they kill. I almost had it. So they are, therefore, they can't be sitting around relying on a, a stable paycheck. They gotta go out there and get it. Got it. Good. Uh, please, and this one's really important. Please list the last three books or podcast series that you read or listened to and when. I wanna know what kind of self-educator they are. This gives me some insight on uh, you know, their personality type. I want to see podcasts, I want to see books, and I wanna know that they read them within the last 60 days or listened to them in the, in the, you know, recently. Then obviously, because I market all over, you know, on social media and stuff, I don't know where they're coming from. So are you willing to relocate to Arizona to work with me and my team. If they say yes, then great. If they say no, then they're already disqualified. If they say I would, but they got to tell me their story. All right, question 11, what else should I know about you? It's their last moment to pitch us. So at the end of the survey, when they click submit, a thank you page pops up and it says, hey, thanks for filling out the survey. You're, um, you're completed with step one. Now step number two, is to send us a one to two minute video on your cell phone, just turn it sideways, one to two minute video, pitching us as to why you're the perfect candidate for the position. Then what we do, and uh, if we like it, step three is we're gonna schedule a Skype interview. This is where you can get them on a Skype and say, pick up your phone, we're gonna call some Craigslist leads, we're gonna make some calls to motivated sellers. All right, and you can see how they do on the fly. Now, I've done this three-step process for a while now, and it always brings me the best candidates. This is how you grow your business and your team, and you leverage, and you get to a point where you're consistently doing multiple deals a month, and it's the most beautiful thing in the world when a deal shows up on your desk that you didn't have to generate, talk to the seller, go to the house, fill out the paperwork, comp the property, do anything. You know, this is that that entrepreneur talk. I think uh, all of us need to hear at some point and I hope it helps. You guys were awesome for hanging out with me through the entire, you know, training. Till next time, I'm Cody Sperber, The Clever Investor, signing off for now. Take care, comb your hair, Sperber out. Yeah.